Let the artificial intelligence do the hard work for you, like creating awesome presentations in seconds. If you don't know where to start, go to Canva, type your idea, and the Magic Design for Presentations will generate a first draft of your presentation. You can then take it from there, add your details, branding, and customize the images. There is a new space in Canva called Magic Studio, which contains the best AI power tools to kickstart your creativity and help you be more productive. Among all the new and improved Magic tools, there are three highlights, which are Magic Design, Magic Design for Video, and Magic Design for Presentations. In this tutorial, we'll focus on Magic Design for Presentations. Let me show you first how to use it from desktop. Go to canva.com and in here you have two different ways to use this feature. You can either use the search bar on the home page or you can use the search bar on the object panel inside the editor. I'm going to show you this second way after this one. Here we are in Canva's home page and I'm going to use the following prompt. I recently discovered this money saving method, a Japanese one called Kakivo. So so I was thinking oh, it would be nice to create a presentation explaining what is Kakibo. So this is my prompt. I'm going to hit enter and let's see what happens. Now we are in this search result page and it took just a couple of seconds, if not less, for Canva to create these different presentation styles or presentation decks that have the content that I actually need. So I need a presentation explaining what is Kakibo. And now let me show you something. Whenever you hover on top of any of these presentation thumbnails, you will be able to see the slides inside of each deck. Or you can also click on the presentation that you liked and from here you'll be able to see the slides inside this deck. Something really really cool about this feature is that as you can see you have here the title which is related to the prompt that I entered but also we have content that fits that slide. So it's not only about the title because in here we actually have the definition of what is Kakibo. So Kakibo is a Japanese method of budgeting that helps you manage your finances. It involves tracking expenses, setting goals, and saving money. So basically, I can use this slide as it is if I wanted to. On the next slide, we have the benefits of using Kakibo. Then we have how to use it and tips. If I continue, we have some more additional resources and the end slide. So the AI did the hard work of structuring this presentation for me and it actually helped me create the copy to use on any of these slides. Of course, if you want to change the information, add or remove, you can do it. You can personalize these slides. So let me show you how to do it. Now, if you liked what the AI created for you, you can do the following. You can start working on the presentation straight away by clicking on the presentation that you liked and then customize this template. Or you can also start customizing the template from here. You can add your own media by clicking on this button. You can upload your own files from here or you can use the already uploaded files on your Canva account. If you don't want to add your own images to your presentation, you can just simply close in this window or select clear and then if you want to use your branded colors or your branded fonts you can click on the brand button here if you have already set up a brand kit you can choose it from here so i'm gonna go for this one and then click see results this is going to apply this brand kit to all the different slide decks that we have in here then if you want to keep adjusting and customizing any of these presentation decks, again, click on the one that you liked and then customize this template. Now we are inside the editor and we can adjust and customize anything that we want. If you want to change the text, you can simply double click on any of the text boxes and then start adding or removing your text. If you want to delete 
any element on your design or any of the slides, select the element that you don't like and click on the trash icon. And if you want to change the images and you want to use the Canva library, you can go to Elements, scroll down to the Photos section and then click See All. From here, you can search for any image that you want. So for example, this topic is about saving money. So I can simply type saving money and see what comes up. Okay, this image is perfect. So I can simply drag the image over the image that I want to change. So like this. And now I have an image that I really like and I believe fits better in this presentation. Something else that you can do with these presentations is changing the layout. So you can go to design and from here, instead of templates, go to layouts. This is going to give you different suggested layouts. So depending on the elements that you have, on the current slide, you will see different layouts in here. So if you don't like this layout on this slide, you can try a different one by clicking on any of these options right here. So I would like to see how the third one looks on my slide. So by clicking, Canva automatically changes the layout on my slide. If I go to page number two, the suggested layouts are going to be different. So you can see that now we have different options for this one. In this case, I don't really like the layouts that I see in here, so I'm gonna stay with the current one. If you wanted to add a different slide, but the layouts that you see available in here are not the best for the information that you want to convey, you can go to templates and then search for any template that you want in here. So for example, let's see what comes up if I search for charts. I will see a lot of different slides with charts so I can add in here a page and then add a slide with charts so let's say that I want to add a chart like this then you can go back I'm gonna delete this search and then go to styles from here if you have set up your brand kit you can click on brand fonts and have your fonts automatically change for your branded fonts and you can also do the same for your color palettes so I'm gonna select this color palette and I can shuffle the colors to see a color combination that fits my presentation in here. I think I'm happy with this color selection. I'm just going to select my chart and change the color for pink. Now I just need to change the information on this slide. I can change the items on this chart and you can also choose from different charts. You can go to elements, scroll down and you will see a section called charts. Click see all and from here you'll be able to choose from bar, line and dot, interactive, pie, infographic and other charts. Now let me show you some little tricks that you can use on your presentation to make it more fun. You can add transitions so if you hover your mouse in between two pages you will see this button that says add transition. At the moment when you move from one slide to the other, you see the animation on the slides, but you don't see any transition. Let me add a cool transition in here. Coming back here to the design, I'm gonna hover in between these two pages and add transition. The transitions window will open and you can add any of these transition animations. I'm going for circle wipe and if you want to apply the same animation in between all pages, simply click on this button. Now we have the same animation in between all the different slides and if you want to add more animations to every slide, you can click on the background of your slide and then you'll see this button. If it already has an animation, you will see the name of the animation. If it doesn't have any animation, you will see that the button says animate. Let me see page number two. This one doesn't have any animations, so you're going to click on this button. And if you want the AI to help you with the animations, you can click on this new feature or this new tool that says Magic Animate. This one will instantly apply perfectly suited animations and transitions, so let's try it out. We have a recommended style and some alternative ones. So let me see the recommended style. This one looks nice and let me see now the alternatives.
Not bad. I think I actually like the grunge animation, so I'm gonna go for this one. I think these lights are ready to go, so let me show you how to present it in Canva or how to download it as a PPT file or PDF. First, to present it, you can either click on this button that says present or this icon at the bottom of the screen that says present full screen. If you click here, you will go directly to this full screen presentation mode and then you can move from one slide to the other with your arrow keys. I'm gonna press escape and now let me show you what happens when you click present. From here you have more options. First you see the one that I just used, the present full screen. Then you have the presenter view which is going to open two different windows, the one that the audience is gonna see and another one that only the presenter will see with some notes in case that you have taken notes on your presentations. Then we have present and record which basically means that you are going to film yourself or record your voice to present these lights. And lastly we have the option to autoplay your presentation. Now let me show you how to download this presentation. You're gonna click share and from here you can click download. You can select a file type so from here you can download it as a pdf, a ppt, an mp4 video as well. You can download each slide as jpeg or png. You can also download them as svg or as a gif. So select the file type and then click download. I have the Canva app open on my phone and this time instead of entering the prompt on the search bar on the home page I'm going to first create a presentation document. You're gonna go and open the presentations tab and from here select any of these presentations doc type. I'm gonna go for the first one 16 by 9 so I'm simply tapping on this option and then I'm gonna tap one more time on this plus icon. This is going to take me to the editor and now now I will have a blank document. Make sure that you are located on the design tab. My tab is already opened and I'm gonna use the search bar in here to write my prompt. So you can say that here says use five plus words to describe your presentation. This time I want to create a marketing strategy plan presentation for a new online course launch. You can see that Canva is doing its magic and we have the presentations being being generated. You can slide to view all the presentations or you can also select or tap see all to view them all at the same time. You also have the same two buttons that we saw on desktop so you can add your media or you can apply one of your brand kits to these designs. This time let's go for Ronnie's brand kit and then I'm gonna tap see results. Now all the presentations have the same color palette, same fonts and if you want to preview any of them simply tap on the one that you want to see and you'll be able to preview all the slides inside the presentation. As you can see, the copy and the images on this presentation deck are related to the topic and it is completely different to the one that I chose before, which was money saving. If you want to select this presentation and you want to edit a couple of elements, click on this button that says apply all nine pages or 10 pages or it depends on how many pages your design has so I'm gonna click on this button and now I have all the slides of this presentation on my document. If you want to edit your presentation you will have a menu at the bottom of the screen that you can use. In this case if you want to add animations you will see the animate button below so here it is and you can also slide the menu at the bottom so you have tools the magic animate feature that we used before on desktop we have combinations and then we have different categories of animations i'm gonna go this time for combinations and go for simple and to make this editing faster i'm gonna select apply to all pages i'm gonna close this window this time and now let's add transitions you will see a plus icon in between between the different pages so I'm tapping on this icon and then select transition you can preview the different transitions by tapping on these animations
and then again apply to all pages. If you don't want to apply these animations or these transitions to all pages, you can select the animation and then move to the next slide and apply a different one. If you want to change the images on any of the slides, select the image and you will see a replace button at the bottom of the screen. From here you can select images either from your camera roll, your uploads, photos or you can also select videos. I'm gonna go for a photo in the library and then if you want to customize your text remember that you can double tap on your text box and start writing your new copy or deleting anything that you desire. You can also adjust any of the elements on the slides by selecting it. You can adjust the size, the position or you can also delete them if you want. Now to present you can click on this icon to open the full screen mode and you can start presenting directly from your mobile phone. I'm gonna close this presentation view with this icon and if you want to download your presentation click on the share icon on top of the screen. You will see the download button here. You can select your file type, select the pages that you want to download and then hit download. You can also go back to the same menu that we just opened by clicking on the share icon. So let me do it again. Share icon and then you have some other different options to share this presentation. So when you slide these icons to the left, you have the option to view only link. So you can share a link for other people to view the presentation. You have the present option here. You can either select from full screen, the one that we just saw, or autoplay. Let me go back, show you the other options. You can convert this presentation to a website and you can also download the presentation as a PPT. Let me know in the comments if you think this feature is going to save you time or not. Now, the feature I just showed you, it is free to use, but it has some limitations. Remember the three magic design tools I talked about at the beginning of the video? Well, these are available to Canva free users, Canva Pro, Canva for Teams and Canva for Education. But there is a caveat. At the moment, these magic features only work in English locales only works in social media and video doc types and it doesn't work in China. And as I already mentioned, this feature is free to use but it has some usage limitations. Canva free users have 10 design generates lifetime and Canva Pro, Canva for Teams and Canva for Education have 100 design generates daily. These design generates are across all magic design tools. To discover the other new magic features that Canva just launched, you need to watch this video right here. And to get a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro, you can click here or you can find the link in the description of this video. I think this is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoy it and see you in the next one. Bye!